So, are you tired of sending out video audit after video audit and not have anyone even watch them? If you are, I truly feel you because I went through it myself. After sending out hundreds and hundreds of video audits as I'm gonna be showing, uh, showing you in this video, I knew something had to change and I really split tested a wide range of key variables that comes into making a killer marketing audit. I pretty much tested every single thing until I finally got the right formula and managed to get me a 90 to 95% open rate. This video is going to be really, really juicy and I hope you guys are ready for it. I'm not only going to be saving you tens of hours uh, in you know, making video audits that no one even watches, but I'm going to be giving you some of the keys that allow me to send out this uh, marketing video audit, have them be watched by prospects and land meetings. And so. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Five tips to a killer marketing video audit. First thing that I, I wanna cover is what is this outreach method all about? Because it might be the case that a lot of you watching don't even know what a marketing video audit outreach is all about. Do in mind, I might be making a complete separate video on how to create a video marketing audit. You know, not so this is really what it's all about. First touch point, you reach out to prospects with a video audit of their current social media marketing strategy. So you take a look at how well they're doing what you actually offer and the solution that you offer uh, clients. Uh, you just take, you know, for example, if you're doing Facebook ads, you take a look at their Facebook ad library, see the ads and diagnose, see the ads that they're running. I mean, they're not even running any ads, but if they are, see the ads that they're running and really diagnose uh, where, you know, they could be doing much better and where they could be leaving money on the table. And the second thing is inquire first for interest. So that's kind of the, you know, the, the approach that a lot of people take. Uh, they just reach out to, uh, you know, their, their desired prospects with a video audit of the current social media marketing strategy. What I do instead, and, and do bear in mind, I, I still use that, that first method, but in most cases where I use this method, I actually inquire first for their interest. Uh, so I only create the audit once I've, once um, once they have asked for it. So what I you know, pretty much tell them, and I, I put a video together on this called how to land um, client meetings on autopilot. You can watch that after this video. But basically what I tell them is, hey, look, uh, I've created this audit, which is true. Uh, you know, the, the writing part of the audit, uh, the audit has been created, I just haven't recorded the video for it. Um, and so I tell them, hey, look, uh, I've created this audit. Uh, if you're interested, if this is of interest to you, uh, let me know and I'll send it right over. Once they say that they, that it is, then, you know, I recorded the, the video. It really saves me a ton of time. So that is, in a nutshell, what it is. And really, here, here are the advantages of the method. First of all, the law of reciprocity. Do bear in mind, guys, this is just a, a little, you know, notch of you. Uh, I could make an entire video on this method alone, but really here's the, the, you know, the main advantages of this method. Number one, the law of reciprocity, high effort outreach method. Prospects value the investment of time and energy and feel a need to reciprocate. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave some screenshots of, uh, of responses that, uh, you know, some prospects that I've, I've reached out to um, have given me about the, the video audits that I sent. Some of the responses I get are, are really uh, incredible and uh, it's really what, what keeps me going with this method uh, because a lot of the clients are, are honestly uh, starstruck uh, when they actually check out the, the video audit and they see the, the effort, uh, energy and, and time that I've actually put into the audit because when I do an audit, when I record an audit, it really, really is uh, incredible. So that is that. Uh, you can see some of the, the, uh, the screenshots and it's value packed. Uh, really, the, uh, a video obviously uh, adds a lot more value than really any other outreach method out there. Um, not only for the content, but probably most importantly, uh, and what a lot of people forget, I feel like they, they put way too much emphasis on the content of the video audit. Don't get me wrong, that is incredibly important, but what the, the prospect actually cares more about is the tone and the, the way you carry yourself. Um, now, I, I, unfortunately, Loom, which is really the, the software that I use to record these videos, and this is the software that I recommend you guys use, it's a shame that, you, that they don't give you insights on how much they've watched of the video, but I'd be willing to bet that a lot of the, the prospects that reach, reach back and, and you know, uh, book a meeting with me probably didn't even watch the whole uh, video. They just saw the, the tone uh, and just the way, the, the way I carried myself. And that was, you know, that, that was enough for them to take a decision because we have to realize is a lot of the, the prospects, they just care about the result they can, that you can get from them. They don't really care about, you know, the esoteric stuff or really the, the methods that you're gonna use, uh, which, you know, some of them I covered in that video audit. So that's what I wanted to keep in mind. So the tone and the way you carry yourself in this video audit is really good. It was gonna, you know, be the, the best advantage and really the biggest edge uh, about this method. But having said that, none of this matters if they don't even open it. And it's such a, you know, frustrating feeling because it's a lot more time and energy into the, the outreach method, but, the you know almost the the the, the rule book uh, of getting someone to open a uh, 
you know, a, an email that you send out to hundreds of people and also getting them to open a, a video audit that you've personalized for them is almost on the same level, right? So hope you guys understand that, but that's why it's really, really important to make sure that the video audits that you're putting together are really well optimized and the time for them to open it and, and watch it and get incredible value uh, out of it. So here's really my experience, okay? My experience is total of almost 300 Loom video audits sent. Um, you know, I, I'd love to, uh, I'd love to start a little challenge, uh, but I really, really doubt that uh, many more people have sent out more video audits than, than I have. Honestly, I'd be willing to bet that not many people have gotten close to that, to that number of video audits. Um, at one point, I was sending out five video audits a day, and uh, these were not short uh, video audits, right? So yeah, I put a, a, an incredible amount of time and effort into this uh, Loom video audits. The reason why I say almost 300 and it says 302 videos uh, here, as you, guys, uh, as you guys can see, is that obviously uh, there are videos in there just showing my team members how to you know carry out um, specific uh, business tasks, et cetera, et cetera. So some of the videos in there, uh, I do want, you know, it's probably around 5% or 2% are not actually video audits, but the vast majority of it uh, are video audits. And we've got a 90% open rate on last 54 video audits, which is pretty good. Um, is, is an open rate that I'm, I'm very happy with. And what I wanna be completely honest about, and really what I think adds more value even to this video, is the fact that I went through a very dry open rate period. Um, I mean, not, not incredibly uh, dry as you guys will see, uh, but still very dry. And, and you know, what, what I can tell you is that during this period, I honestly felt, um, I felt defeated. I felt uh, pissed off almost. Uh, because I was putting all this time into this video audits, but, but no one was watching them. Keep in mind, uh, I wasn't just you know completely mindless and then just kept doing the same thing, right? Because as Einstein uh, well said, that is the really you know literally the definition of insanity. I was doing through this dry period is iterating so many different variables, like literally tweaking every single component that could be tweaked when it came to uh, you know recording these video audits uh, and sending them out. Uh, and eventually, I started to get much better results, right? And eventually, I got down to this one. Uh, formula that really worked wonders, uh, you know, which with, with the 90% open rate, uh, but most importantly, actually landed meetings. And you guys have seen, uh, and in past videos, I've, I've shown uh, some of the, just the, the number of meetings that, that I'm landing on, on a consistent daily basis. Uh, and so, so the reason why I'm showing you guys that it's to be completely vulnerable uh, and show you why I've, you know, why I've arrived at this winning formula and how I've arrived at, the, at this winning formula. And so, yeah, just to give you an example, and just to illustrate my point, uh, here you can just see a, a little snapshot. Obviously, um, this is really what, what I capture in a screenshot, but I, I thought it was a good, in, uh, you know, just a, a good indication of what I was going through. Um, yeah, you can see, you know, some of this, this video audits were, uh, were way too long, uh, some of them reaching the 30 minute mark. Um, and, you know, a lot of you will say, well, that is the one thing that, that you know, that, that was costing uh, these people to not open this video audits. Uh, but it's a lot more nuanced that, right, than that, because what I realized, uh, you know, what I realized going forward is that I was, you know, bear in mind it weren't 30 minute uh, video audits, but they're still around this length, uh, maybe a bit less, but they're still around this length. And, um, and what I found is that a lot less than that, they don't get enough value, which in turn doesn't convert to a medium, which is what you're looking for. Uh, and so it's a lot more nuanced than, you know, just saying, oh, it should be a, a lot shorter than that. Uh, but yeah, and that, that's what I'm going to be going over in this video. But as you guys can see here, uh, obviously I have, um, I've crossed out the, the names of the prospects. You know, obviously I, I still had some good ones. You can see uh, four views. You can see four views here. Uh, you can see two views. Um, what else? Two views here, three views there. Uh, the ones that, you know, what I, what I found is the, the ones that have more than, you know, two to two, two and over uh, views usually land a medium because they, they've shared it with their team. Um, and so, yeah, the, the ones that just have one view, uh, they don't really turn into, into a medium. Uh, that easily they have turned um but yeah as, as you guys can clearly see uh, it was an, a, an incredibly good period for me here are the things that i learned that turned it around one delivery and look the thumbnail should always be the prospect's website start there and then transition into your notes doc if you have one which i, I really highly recommend right it, it just it gives you an it gives you a structure uh it also allows the client to see what you're going to cover without you know going the the the, the full length which many clients I might not want to do um, and also include a picture of the video into the email you send out with the video audit. Now, let, let's just, you know, let, let's just cover the, the, the first thing to that. 
what I recommend you guys do is you always start on the website of the prospect because instantly you tell them that's really personalized. It's not something that you just send out to hundreds of, of, of different prospects. Um, it's actually really personalized and tailored to them. The second thing is when you send out with the email, include obviously the link to it and then right below it, a picture of the thumbnail, a picture of the video, just so they, they can see the length of it. Uh, they can see your face on it as well. And, and it just triggers them to, to actually click the, uh, the link to the video. Audit. Make sure they're, they're made aware that the video is highly personalized and tailored to them as soon as you possibly can. What I tend to do is, uh, you know, I tell them, hey John, it's time here from Mobile C. It was great connecting with you over LinkedIn. Now, what my team and I have gone ahead and done is we've created an in-depth marketing audit of your current digital marketing strategy at X Media, Mobile C, um, where we've actually outlined three to five pieces of actionable advice uh, that you and your team, you know, whatever it is, just make sure that, that you're saying their name and you say the company's name, okay? Just make sure they, they know it's personalized and tailored to them as soon as you possibly can. Not using their name, not calling them by their first name. It's something that's really gonna be quite detrimental and that should be done within the first few minutes. Uh, the first few minutes are really the most important part of that video audit and you really wanna make sure that you get it right, uh, that you that, that it's almost automatic, that it, 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 it's almost automized, right? At this point, I almost have this script in my head where it's just like, you know, obviously it's, it's, off, it's off the cuff and it's personalized to each client, but it's almost automatic. It's almost like filling in gaps. So you, once you really st you know start getting the hang of it and once you start practicing a lot, it becomes a lot easier, but making sure that right from the start, you're making it personalized and, and tailored to them is incredibly, incredibly important. Then the next thing is set expectations right from the start. Tell them what they can expect and the value of it uh, and really why they should watch, right? What you have to understand is they're really busy people and you need to, to almost future pay, which is an NLP concept. Um, but yeah, you, you want to future pay them to get them to watch till the end, because at the end, you'll have your call to action, um, which is, you know, get the, you know, which is uh, getting them to book a meeting. And so what you can tell them is, hey, there's gonna be three to five pieces of actionable advice that we're implementing right now, day in and day out for all of our clients to produce seven and eight figure results, obviously, whatever it is that, that, you, got, that you do. And you can also tell them if you have clients already, do not lie, do not uh, you know, deceive anyone. But if you have clients already, you can you know, kind of brag about it to establish authority. Uh, you can tell them, hey, look, uh, and, and we're implementing all these strategies uh, for clients like, X, Y, Z, whatever it is, right? So that is a set of expectations. This thing is polarized and contrast. Don't just talk about their strategy, compare it to someone in their industry that is doing things very, very well to build urgency and a fear of missing out for them. Yeah, uh, a lot of people, what they do is they'll just take a, a one dimensional look at their website and tell them all the things that are wrong with it. But for the client, what's a lot more valuable is, first of all, you showing that you understand their industry by having picked a competitor that's close to them and that they probably recognize, and also showing them what they're doing. Because uh, that's that's a lot more powerful, right? If, if you can not only tell them what they're lacking, but also show them what success looks like and, and more importantly, what a competitor of theirs that they probably are looking at, you know, constantly uh, is doing. And that's really gonna trigger that FOMO and build that sense of urgency. And the last thing is showcase results. Uh, what I do is, you know, one of the tabs uh, of the of the video audit. Um, is a, the business manager for one of our clients, for example. And what I'll do is I'll hop on my business ad manager and I'll literally show them clients, and literally show them client campaigns in their industry. Uh, and really there's nothing more powerful. Having said that, I understand that a lot of you uh, may not be able to do that just now. Uh, maybe you don't have the, 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 you know, the case studies or maybe you don't have the, you know, any clients yet. Um, and so you can literally show them uh, their, you know, the business ads manager, but if you can, and you're getting good results for your clients, there's nothing more powerful. I've literally compared the results of, uh, of doing audits without that, that component, and doing audits with that component. And uh, what I can tell you, obviously, is that that last meeting is like nothing else. But not only that, when I go into the meeting and, and they've watched that already, it, it makes the, the convert uh, to a client so much easier. So yeah, I mean, that, that is one thing that if you, if you have those results, do show them. Show them, show, show, you know, showcase the results. Go on your clients um, as manager and show them that there's there's really nothing more powerful. So guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know any questions or comments down below. The last thing that I will say is all these strategies, all these hacks, all these tips that I've just given you guys are incredibly valuable and they'll take your video audit outreach to the next level. But the easy, you know, the the, the thing that's going to have the biggest impact on the success of those video uh, of those video audits is just the tone, the confidence, and the way you put behind the words that you say. Yes, all these strategies are gonna 
you know, give you a massive edge. But the, the easiest, you know, the, the most simple thing you can do is just make sure that you're not uh, being monotonous, that you're not being boring, that you add a bit of spice into those videos uh, and that you truly, you know, uh, and that you truly speak to, to, the, to the prospect. Uh, because what you have to understand is they're making a time investment into watching your video about it, and so make it worthwhile for them. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. It really helps out a ton with the algorithm. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do so right now. There's so much content coming out uh, in the upcoming days, uh, and you're not going to want to miss that. Lastly, if you guys haven't joined the free Facebook uh, community that put together full of like-minded people pushing for the same goal, scaling their agency and leveling up in life, go ahead and click the link down below. I've actually captured our 100 spots for now, so uh, secure your place before uh, they run out. Lastly, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. That is my username, I'm posting a ton of content on there that I'm not going to be posting on YouTube, uh, daily stories, behind the scenes and also meaningful posts. And Guys, I hope everything's going well in your agency journey. Hope you're clean it. Till the next video, peace.